Hey, this is Riaz, and we're going to be modeling that gun that you just saw today. And yeah, let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to assume that you're fairly new to Blender, so, so this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide, some tutorial sort of thing. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you'll see when you open up Blender is this. We're going to load up our reference image, which I am going to um, link down in the description. So you go here, go reference. Now my, I took a screenshot of a 3D model and this is what I want. So be careful because if you keep this aligned, this is going to happen. So it's like, it's at an angle. So I don't want that. I want that flat. And so I'm going so to go back to image, go to reference, um, already have screenshots. I'm going to do this. Do not align to view and load the thing in. Now. You want to rotate that, click R, X, 90 degrees, G, Y, move it right there. Delete this cube, by the way, and I'm going to load in the reference for the front of the, the gun. Yep, yep, there we go. Click X, no wait, Y, X, yeah, 90, R, Z, 90, move it back there. All right, now, okay, so with modeling um, anything, there are a few approaches, there are a few ways to go around, and I'm gonna load this into the description as well. So this is a 3D model of what I'm going to model. This is on Sketchfab, amazing website. So you can actually, so before you actually start modeling, the first thing I think you need to do is to actually analyze the gun. So you can see this is a flat, this is round, just, just think of the best way to model this. So I think you can see there's a symmetry here. We can make use of that. And if you... So the approach I'm going to take today is I'm going to line everything up along this edge. You can see. And then I'm going to extrude it to this way. And then it's basically going to um, look like a gun. So today we'll be doing three... So we'll be splitting this modeling into three parts. You've got the above part, this part, you've got this part, you've got this part. And lastly, we'll also have the trigger as well. Right, let's go. So this part first, right? Alright. Now, we're going to bring up the plane. Shift A, mesh, plane. Now it's going to be like this. Rotate it 90 degrees. Look at it from this angle. Scale it down, align it up properly. And I want to reduce the well, the the opacity of this. There you go. Yeah. The opacity of this. And so I click this. Transparency turns on. Reduce it to maybe uh 2.4. That's, uh, that's about right. Uh select this again. And edit mode. Alright, so we're gonna use the vertices to um Align this all up properly, okay? Right. Now, it could be rotated a little bit. Just like line it up properly. And then maybe I'll do a time lapse here, I don't know. Right. I think this is the edge here, right? Yeah. Just, just like, you don't need any loop cuts, nothing important. Now, this part. This, this round part, I'll leave it for now, and then we'll do that later. First, let's follow along this contour. So, take this edge, take it right up. Yep, drop this in. Maybe to here. So if you're familiar with the pen tool in um, Illustrator, it's, it's quite similar. Right, because you know you do a loop cut. Like, don't do too many loop cuts, but three should be enough. Um, click one. So to switch between the edges and the points, it's one. So one, two, three. Those are the hotkeys. It's just quite. Um, it saves loads of time to use the hotkeys. Click this. Now you can see this is like circular, so you can use the proportional editing tool. You can see the shortcut there is O. I want sphere, right? Now, why is this doing that? So just scroll, scroll down your wheel. There you go. And there you go. Now, 
the proportional editing tool just makes it faster um, now turn it back off and then you can just like manually line it up it's basically cheating really the proportional tool now you can see there's up now so like both of them again Control e wait sorry just e and go back up about there should be good and again three loop cuts I tell you not to do way too many loop cuts because you want the, the model to be as simple as possible. You don't like don't worry too much about not lining up perfectly because we're going to be using the subsurf modifier later on and it's going to smoothen everything out. So there's uh, there's nothing to worry about. It's alright. Uh, control loop cut. Two should be in there. So if you scroll it down, okay, so you can see this is like lining up perfectly now. Now, what I want to do is, I, I, okay, so this is going to overshoot, it's fine, because when this part comes down, you can just push it right down there and it's going to be done. So right. Now, this has to flow this way. So what you can do is you can like bring this over here. Then take this, take this, and then we're going to continue the same approach. Right there should be fine. Alright. And then E. And a neat little trick, click X, straight, right, straight. It's a nice, precise little trick. And you don't need any loop cuts here, don't, so don't put any loop cuts here. Alright, that starts looking okay. Now, we're going to, to take care of this part. Now I want these to straighten up, so what I do is I go S, X, 0, enter, they all straighten up now. But yeah, now like it looks, I think, I think it looks quite okay, eh? Um, yep. And besides, if, if we don't like it afterwards, we can change, um, edit it anyway. So, click edit by tab, A, extrude it this way, or the wide way, sorry. And um, don't worry too much about the length for now. Um, yeah. Right, so bring it back. You can see it's quite a bit. It's, it's it's not very nice to look at, right? That's where the subserver modifiers come in. Oof, that looks bad. So we're gonna be putting more loop cuts. So you can see, okay. So this is where, okay. Which, how do we put loop cuts? Do we put loop cuts this way? Do we do we put loop cuts this way? Now the answer to that question, how you answer that question is. So look at the gun. Where is the hard surfaces? You can see there's a hard surface this way. This whole way is basically flat. And that is why you will... Okay, so the outer edge is already selected. Go Control R. You need two of them, right? Let's select all of that. Click Alter. Now slide it all the way there. Same over there. Slide it there. That doesn't look too bad now, but it has to be flat over there. There you go. Flat. Nice. So this part is done. You can see it's not exactly there, but 
and we will do the first. We will do the rough things first, and then we'll come back for the details, okay? Right, now the next part is this. Now, see you at the next um, session, and we should be finished with this pretty soon. Alright.